Hi everyone, SK Senior, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get into the invincibility glitch on Payday 2. This is actually really, really easy to do. You can do it on any level, um, even on escapes, and it can come real handy for building up XP, building up money, and uh, basically helping you progress through the game a lot quicker. Okay, all you need to get into the glitch really is a surface where when you're crouched you can't stand up. So if you press circle to uh, try and stand up, it says you can't stand up here, then that's the perfect spot to get, actually get into the glitch. Uh, once you're in this position, just don't touch the left analogue, use the right analogue to move about. And um, the best thing to do is wear a suit and play this on overkill as well, because then you'll get things like bulldozers and shield guys and stuff like that. So it's easier to actually get downed, and that's what you're aiming to do. You're actually aiming to get downed and when you go down is carry on fire on your gun so don't use silence weapons because otherwise they won't continue to shoot you while you're down and they'll keep shooting you and then you'll lose your gun completely so you're just laying there helpless and then you can get revived um, either by the AI or by another human player whatever and when you get revived it will say you can't stand up here and that will mean that you're actually in the glitch and you get until the end of the level so the important thing to make sure is that you lose your gun completely before you're revived and once you are revived don't stand up don't press circle don't press x don't click l3 as long as you stay crouched you're in the glitch as soon as you stand up you'll be out of the glitch the police will see you again and start shooting you so as you can see from this next piece of footage that even if you don't lose your gun until the moment just before you are completely revived it will still work and you'll still be in the glitch. Now if you're playing solo, once you're in the glitch, don't worry about the AI. If they get taken into custody, that's fine. Uh, once you're in the glitch, you're in it. And um, that actually helps because once they're in custody, when you move the bags, the police will follow the bags about, but they won't actually pick them up and move them and run off with them and stuff. So you're free to just pick them up, even right by their feet, and take them, put them in the van and make your escape. So that's basically how to get in the glitch and this will actually work in co-op as well whether there's two three or four of you the entire lobby can get in the glitch and as you can see from this screenshot here me and a friend of mine we played firestarter on overkill pro job and we didn't use the glitch until the third day to be honest with you but we ended up getting 20 bags and a really massive payout and in total we got about 325,000 XP across all three days as well so it will build up your levels and your cash really quickly you know if you just use the glitch as and when you need to use it as I said before you can use it on escapes and the best place I've found to actually get into it is to um, sit in the back of the van and if you get downed then the AI will revive you through the side of the van believe it or not and there you go just a nice easy escape for you okay and that's it I uh, hope this helps you out uh, while you're waiting for an escape um, you can always have a bit of fun as soon as the police can't see us you can melee them and uh, have a little fun with the bulldozers you know and that's it so take care everyone all the best and I'll see you all again soon